Hi children, welcome back in our online grammar classes. Dear students, I hope you all are fine and enjoying watching videos. Keep watching our videos regularly and study regularly. Students, in our previous video, we have started lesson number 17 that is tenses and we had learned simple present tense. We learned that the actions which happens again and again we talk it in simple present tense to talk about it we use simple present tense again we see that the true things while talking about true things we should use simple present tense and again the things which happens from a long time if they remain same so to talk about it also we use simple present tense okay students what is tense tense is the words shows when the things are happening okay is it in past is it in present or in future okay now we have to go ahead and we have to learn today its new form that is present continuous tense okay now See here, note the forms of words in this tense. Means in present continuous tense. See carefully the form of word carefully. Okay. Now what is given here? This is subject. The first column subjects are given. Here helping words. And this is main one now students we have learned about helping words already ok these are to be small am is are and in past tense was where ok so see carefully here I am working ok I am working we are working you are working they are working he is working she is working and it is working okay this in this tense in this sentence if we read so we can hear See, observe that verb is having ing form. Okay, we are using here verb in its ing form. Okay, v plus ing. To show continuous tense, we should use verbs in its ing form. Okay, now what is about am, are, and is? If the subject of the sentence is first person. Singular now, okay. If we are talking about ourselves and I am here alone, so while talking about myself, I should use am as to be helping verb, okay. In present continuous days, I am, okay. I am writing, I am speaking, I am looking, I am watching, I am studying, I am going, okay. Now with plural subjects like we now we is plural subject you they or any another if we use any another plural subject we should use are as helping one okay we are you are they are people are okay now verb will be in ing form only in present continuous tense then for the subject which are singular third persons or any singular subject okay he is so we should use here helping verb is okay with singular nouns singular pronouns he is working she is it is if any another singular noun is there then also we can use is only okay 
right? Bird is flying in the sky, sun is shining. Understood? Then students, you can write these sentences in your notebook. Okay? Give them numbers. Now, downside, it is given here where to use continuous tense. Okay, let's read it. Now, examples are given. Look, it is raining. Look, it is raining. So, when is it raining? It is raining right now. Okay? So, it is present continuous tense. Look, it is raining. Second example, I am writing a letter. Okay? What am I doing right now? I am writing a letter. So, when? It is right now. It is going now only this action. He is using the computer. Okay. He is using the computer. Then they are playing cricket. Mr. Sen is teaching the uses of tenses. Okay. So these all actions are happening right now. So they all are written in present continuous tense. Students, I hope you understood this video very well. Okay? I will give you instruction once here. You copy it in your notebook. While writing present continuous tense, you should use the structure like this. Subject plus and is are plus verb in its ing form then object okay this way you can use you can write present continuous tense okay subject according to subject we have to take helping verb and is are then we should take verb in its ing form and object in remaining sentence we can complete them okay I hope you understood this video very well. Write minimum 20 examples, 20 sentences in your notebook in present continuous tense. Remaining part we will continue.